Creep, saturated, being saturated all over, and uh, showing somebody with a gun and uh, talking behind, we could hear the background that we are out to finish this guy. It is our humble request again to the IG, the CID and their team that they have the resources. Serikali kuna mkono mrefu. Can they investigate and tell us the person? If they could, if they could go to Kebaso's uh, uh, internet and get what he spoke about uh, some forces to be charged in court, why not such a creeps? Who is this talking about how to eliminate Kebaso? And even, uh, uh, I mean, recording the conversation showing a gun. Is this one way of eliminating Kebaso? Or one way of intimidating him? Not so that he cannot come out to speak? We would want to know the truth. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, about the degree of secure, about the degree of injury, uh, a young man like Kebaso receiving chairs being thrown at him in a well-organized way, more than a fifth of them, the injuries are there. The doctors are yet to give their final report on the same. About the security, that is why we are appealing to the IG. Kebaso is, as a Kenyan, is entitled to the security of the state, not to goons, to the security of the state. And about what we will do, that we are already appealing to the government to take action against the people who attacked Kebaso. As I've said, we are peace-loving Kenyans. We look upon the government to take action before we think of the way forward. Uh, number one, we were first concerned with Kebaso's health from the day of his attack. And the weekend came in, so we have been running up and down to see that his health is safe and he's fine. The next course of action about seeing the office of IPO and these other offices, we will do a follow-up. We will do a follow-up at the right time. I think I've already said on behalf of the family that Kebaso is fine. At the moment, we want him to rest.